Overwatch used to be my favorite game. It filled the niche that TF2 left me for me back in 2016 and 2017. But then it became unplayable with the introduction of Brigitte and Mercy's rework. I just stopped giving shit until 2019 when they announced they would make a PvE for the sequel. And nearly 4 years later they managed to ruin that too. It's kinda funny, they managed to fucking ruin one of the best games of 2016 with terrible updates and made it even worse for the sequel. The only reason why Overwatch 1.5 became a thing is for the PvE. But now that's cancelled there's literally no point in having the 2 on the title. I might hear you say, Trash but what are you on about? Isn't Overwatch 2 a pretty good game? And didn't they promise there will be some PvE content in the future? Yeah, but it will be some random archive style campaigns, no skill trees with awesome abilities or hero missions. It will be literally randomly thrown events where they don't connect like in the now cancelled story campaign. It's fucking amazing how quickly they killed the hype and good will they had for this series. But now that I'm complaining, I want to express some of my frustration that this whole fucking game has caused for me. Overwatch 2 was released 4th of October which shut down the original game servers. The launch was a fucking disaster, servers were unstable as a drunk guy's bank account, but as soon as people got into the game, the fucking truth was revealed. It was just the first game but it was literally just a shop and battle pass update. The only reason why they decided to make it a separate version is to gain hype and bring new players in. Well, everything was fucked. Game servers didn't work, tanks were destroying everything because of overtune they were, heroes being locked behind the battle pass and the shop prices are insane. Like 20 euros for a single fucking legendary skin that used to exist when Overwatch 1 launched. And holy fuck this game still has the issues of heroes being able to one such squishes. Like I get that Sozon is the new poster girl but for the love of god remove her ability to fucking one shot. Her headshot railgun damage is 195 which is just 5 HP short of one shotting most of the 200 HP heroes. They nerfed her damage to not one shot but you want to know how you can just bypass this? Mercy's damage boost. It's fucking stupid man, I just don't understand anymore. Speaking of Mercy, why in the hell is he still able to rest people? You want to know how fucking unfun it is to finally kill that enemy who has been pain in the ass only for them to be broke back 2 seconds later. Such an easy hero should not have this powerful ability. Like for the health of the game and me not having high blood pressure, just replace it with something else. Overall the 5v5 things hasn't been great because the heroes were designed for 6v6. Removing one tank has turned the game into a sludge, but where it's much easier to just spam camp people in, this was rare in the OG game. New heroes are designed to fit 5v5 so they do well and only few heroes got reworked to fit this new type better like Bastion or Risa. Most of the characters got barely any type of change and some were untouched like Genshi when the game came out. Speaking of Bastion, alright this is more personal but hear me out. I used to be a Winston main alright, I enjoy being the big funny monkey. But when they teased Bastion getting a river where he can now move in third form, I was really interested in how he will play. But when the game came out, I decided to become a Bastion mate. Yeah, you can now make fun of me, but come on man, he's a cool robot with a cute pet bird. Also, he transforms into a tank, like that's some goddamn transformer shit, you have no idea how cool that is. So I was having fun with the new Bastion, poke a golden gun for him and were just destroying enemies with him. When they straight up removed him from the game because he had a game breaking bug with his ultimate. They rushed the game so they didn't have hotfix patches working, so I want to guess how long it took them to bring him back. Over two weeks. He was missing for two weeks. You can only view him in the hero menu or play him in quick play or custom games. For over two weeks, I could not only play my main, but I could even fucking view him. It was like they wanted you to forget that he even existed. When some hero like Diva had a game breaking box, he was gone for like two days, but because it wasn't a fan favorite hero, they sure took their sweet time getting him fixed and only released him back when they released the Halloween update. You sure gold still buy him skins in the shop so they had their priorities right. I didn't feel like playing the game because there were no other hero gold scratch days that Bastion left me. At least they did remove my boy Winston and then did some skin on the battle pass. Speaking of that pass, the battle pass was a neat idea. Instead of encouraging gambling you can now work towards getting the cosmetics you want. Except this and the shop is the only way you can get them. No more you can get stuff from just playing. Most people will never get the newer skins just because you either need to spend like 10 bucks for the pass or fucking 40 for a city bundle. But the shittiest move they could have made is to unlock new heroes to the pass. But they did it. Why? Money. Most new heroes are overpowered as fuck when they're released so it's basically pay to win to have them. Oh, you could unlock them by playing the game and to unlock them in 
Level 45 of the Battle Pass, you have to literally progress halfway through the fucking pass to get access to a new hero, while the newest hero, Five Beater, I mean, Life Fever, has been kinda of mediocre. Characters like Kiriko and Ramatra are fucking broken, so not having access to them puts your team in an instant disadvantage. If they really want to keep them locked behind the pass, just put them to tier 20, which should be fair to people who don't have the time or want to play the game daily. There are some others that are just so pointless, so I'll quickly list them. Don't be stupid, there are shit ton of bugs, the UI looks terrible compared to the old one, most maps are really ugly when it's sunset, team recognition is an issue with so much shit on the screen, Hanzo is still in the game, it's a grind to level up the battle pass, weekly challenges give you barely any coins to get what you want from the store, and finally, the deletion of PvE. Overwatch 2 was justified to exist because of PvE was advertised for the sequel. They delayed it when the game was released as early access, so while everyone was pissed, we all just patiently waited for more news and when the campaign would come. But then, Blizzard did an out of touch move that clearly shows they have no idea what their community wants. They cancelled the only thing that justified the fucking two on the title. Honestly, I didn't really care to complain about these things when the game came out because everyone already said what was I was thinking as well. But now not giving us what everyone was literally waiting for has you shown that Blizzard doesn't care about what we, as a community, have to say. You know, the ones who fucking pay for their salaries. I regret buying any of the battle passes, I regret grinding out the first one and giving this game another chance. I want to fucking love Overwatch, I want to have fun with it as I have Back in 2017, I want to feel like a badass who carries their team to victors and gets most play of the games. But honestly, I feel so awful that we will never get the story mode for the Overwatch universe because believe it or not, they have built just an amazing world that desperately needs to be explored. But they do fucking nothing with it, they just give us stupid skins. Like they gave Sombra fucking clown skin for the OG players when the game came out. What a fucking insult to our face that was. No more replayable levels, no more skill trees, no more hero misses, no more fucking story to be told. The universe has so much untapped potential that Blizzard just fucking refuses to touch and to add salt to the injury. The fucking PvE levels will be locked behind the fucking battle pass. Fuck off with this shit, I am so tired of every game having passes. I really wanted to play the PvE because Archives is my favorite event and most of the campaigns were really fun and the stories it set up were so interesting. Overwatch 2 is literally pointless because the reason for a sequel is now gone. Overwatch was a great game. It could have been even better with the release of PvE. But I guess the indie studio Blizzard didn't have enough money to hire more people to make it. Thank you for watching. I would say have a nice day, but honestly, this isn't a very nice day. Hey, 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 trash, trash, trash. So this is, this is Diva's bed, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>